Hi, in this video, I will show you how to install a PHP script in cPanel. For that, I will take as example PHP scripts that I bought from Code Canyon to make one of my websites. So stay tuned and follow with me. Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart DG Web. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. The PHP script that we will use as an example in this video is the one that allowed me to build the DG SEO tools website. This website offers several small SEO tools like the Plagiarism Checker, Alexa Rankin, the Who is Checker, and so on. The scripts contains in total 50 small tools like this. I haven't activated them all yet. Also, two or three of them didn't work. However, I think it's still a good script overall. My idea for this website is to start with this version and see how it evolves, then add some more advanced tools later. As said in the intro of this video, I bought the scripts we will use from Code Canyon. This marketplace contains uh, many kinds of uh, digital products like uh, PHP, WordPress, e-commerce, JavaScript, and so on. In the PHP script category, if you do search for SAS keyword, for example, you will find, as you see here, many scripts if you want to start SaaS business. To find the script that uh, we will use and install in this uh, video, just do research with the uh, SEO tools keyword. The first one in the results list is the one that we will use. It has good reviews as you, you can see here. I will let a link to it in the description of this video if you want to use it too. Once you bought it, you can go in your profile account, click the download section and download the zipped file. Before I get into practice, I want to clarify the general steps to install a PHP script in cPanel. First, we will upload and unzip the file that we downloaded from Code Canyon. Secondly, we will create a database and the user and give him access to this database. Then, there are generally two options. Either the editor provides an install script. In this case, we launch it and we fill in the information concerning the database, the user, the license. Then we click some next buttons. Otherwise, the second option is to fill in the information in a config file indicated in the installation documentation. In this uh, second option, there is generally an SQL file provided that we have to run to create the database and feed it. Let's move on now to practice. First of all, we will explore the contents of uh, the installation folder downloaded from uh, Code Canyon. As you can notice, there is a documentation uh, folder. I double click on the index.html file to have the doc available in my browser. As you can see here, the steps described are exactly those which we have just seen. Here the editor provides an install script which corresponds to option 1 we seen before. As said here, the folder to upload to the server is named the upload. I first zip it locally before uploading it to the server. Then in cPanel, I click uh, File Manager. I will install the PHP script in this domain name that I do not use because it contains the word uh, WordPress, which is not uh, recommended for domain name. So don't make the same error like me. For me, I uh, discovered that uh, just after uh, I bought it. I click uh, on uh, Upload and uh, I choose the zipped file from my uh, laptop. Now that uh, the file is uh, completely uploaded to the server, I unzip it. Then I migrate all its content to the root of the website. I delete the upload folder which is empty. The next step is to create the database. For that, in cPanel, I scroll down to the database section and I click on MySQL Databases. I give a name to it and I click Create Database. Then I scroll down to 
the create user section to create a user. I enter a name, then I click on the password generator to create the password automatically. I copy the password before I use it, then I click create user. The next step is to give the rights to the user that I had just created on my database. This happens in the section add user to a database. By the way, we're still in the page uh, MySQL databases. I choose the user and database in the drop down lists and click add button. Then I check all privileges and I click on make changes. Now I run the installation script by visiting the index.php page in my uh, web browser. Then we fill in the requested information. For the server field, I enter localhost. Then I fill in the name of the database, the username and the password, as well as the certificates provided when I bought the script. For the names of database and user, you have to enter the full names, which includes the prefix added automatically when they are created. That's all. You click on submit and you're done. In case you come across a script with the option 2, the installation document will indicate a file to edit and modify and you can also run a SQL file to create the database by uh, going to PHP My Admin, then select the database, then click on SQL, pass the SQL queries provided by the editor and then click on Execute button. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video, goodbye.